In this video, we will prepare a medication from a vial for an administration using a syringe pump. Wash your hands. Remove the dust covers from the medication vial and the normal saline vial. Use an alcohol swab and friction to disinfect the vial septums. Ensure that they are completely dry before puncturing. Use a new alcohol swab for each vial. Attach needle onto syringe. At all times, avoid touching any part of the needle, the needle hub or shaft. According to the information on the final volume of medication to withdraw, add air into your syringe. Always puncture septum at a 45 degree angle within the central circle of the septum, orienting the bevel upward. Rapidly straighten the syringe to a 90 degree angle. Slowly withdraw appropriate quantity of medication by pushing a little air into the vial and then pulling the medication out. Move syringe from vial. Depending on the information provided by the pharmacy on the final volume in the syringe, add air into the syringe. 80% of the final volume is usually sufficient. Access vial as explained earlier and slowly withdraw appropriate quantity of solution by pushing a little air into the vial and then pulling solution out. This technique is used to avoid losing any dose of the medication. Remove syringe from vial and recap safely. Hold syringe upright and tap to ensure complete expulsion of air and confirm final volume of the solution. Discard needle in sharp container and replace with non-vented cap or plastic cannula or connect immediately on syringe pump for administration. In this video, we will prepare a medication requiring dilution for an administration using a syringe pump. Wash your hands. Remove the dust covers from vials. Use an alcohol swab and friction to disinfect the vial septums. Use a new alcohol swab for each vial. Ensure that they are completely dry before puncturing. Attach needle onto syringe. At all times, avoid touching any part of the needle, the needle hub or shaft. According to the information on the reconstitution, add air into your syringe. When accessing a vial, always puncture septum at 45 degree angle within the central circle of the septum, orienting the bevel upward. Rapidly straighten the syringe to a 90 degree angle. Slowly withdraw appropriate quantity of diluent by pushing a little air into the vial and then pulling diluent out. Remove needle from vial and access medication vial as explained earlier. Slowly inject the diluent into the vial. Inject on the bottle shoulder a small quantity of diluent then pull back air into your syringe until the complete quantity of diluent is in the medication vial. Remove empty syringe from medication vial and recap safely to avoid needle being exposed to air. Gently swirl on countertop or roll bottle between your hands to dissolve completely. Do not shake vigorously. Use an alcohol swab and friction to disinfect the vial septum. Ensure that it is completely dry before puncturing. Access the vial as demonstrated earlier and slowly withdraw appropriate quantity of solution by pushing a little air into the vial and then pulling solution out. This technique is used to avoid losing any dose of the medication. Remove syringe from vial and recap safely. Hold syringe upright and tap to ensure complete expulsion of air and confirm final volume of the solution. Discard needle in sharps container and replace with non-vented cap or plastic cannula or connect immediately on syringe pump for administration. In this video, we will prepare a medication requiring dilution from a vial that contains the diluent like methylprednisolone or hydrocortisone. We will then complete the volume for an administration using a syringe pump. Wash your hands. Remove the dust covers from the vials. Use an alcohol swab and friction to disinfect the septum of the vial of normal saline. Ensure that it is completely dry before puncturing. 
Attach filter needle onto syringe. At all times, avoid touching any part of the needle, the needle hub or shaft. Press the top part of the medication vial to push diluent into powder. Gently swirl on countertop or roll bottle between your hands to dissolve completely. Do not shake vigorously. Use an alcohol swab and friction to disinfect the septum of the medication vial. Ensure that it is completely dry before puncturing. Puncture septum at a 45 degree angle within the central circle of the septum, orienting the bevel upward. Rapidly straighten the syringe to a 90 degree angle. Slowly withdraw the required dosage. Recap safely to avoid needle being exposed to air while measuring the exact dose of medication in the syringe. Depending on the information provided by the pharmacy on the final volume in the syringe, add air into the syringe. Puncture septum of the normal saline vial at a 45 degree angle within the central circle of the septum orienting the bevel upward. Rapidly straighten the syringe to a 90 degree angle. Slowly withdraw appropriate quantity of solution by pushing a little air into the vial and then pulling solution out. This technique is used to avoid losing any dose of the medication. While withdrawing, avoid touching the septum with the needle up. Remove needle from the vial and recap safely. Hold syringe upright and tap to ensure complete expulsion of air and confirm final volume of the solution. Discard needle in sharps container and replace with non-vented cap or plastic cannula or connect immediately on syringe pump for administration. In this video, we will prepare a medication from a glass ampule using a filter needle. Wash your hands. A filter needle is to be used every time you're preparing medication from an ampule to ensure that glass particles are filtered out of the solution. Using an alcohol swab, disinfect the ampule neck and allow it to dry completely. Use a sterile gauze or a second alcohol swab to hold the glass ampule neck and break the ampule away from you. If your ampule has a white dot, place the dot away from you to break the neck. Discard neck in sharp container. Attach filter needle onto syringe. At all times, avoid touching any part of the needle, the needle hub or shaft. Withdraw content of the ampule by placing the needle bevel down at the level of the shoulder of the ampule. The filter needle contains 0.07 ml. If there's no overfill in the ampule, you may need a second ampule to obtain complete dosage. Recap safely. Hold syringe upright and tap to ensure complete expulsion of air. Discard sharps in sharps container even if the ampule content is not used completely. You cannot re-inject using the filter needle.